We think that uh, with the onset of heart failure and in the very earliest stages of heart failure, uh, people are asymptomatic. They don't know they have heart failure because the heart is producing a bit more of BNP and A and P as well. Um, and as the disease progresses, um, it progresses in part because we have the concept that like diabetes with the deficiency of insulin, that the organ, the endocrine organ, the heart, is not able to c keep up with the disease of the heart just like the disease of the pancreas and therefore a deficiency develops that then accelerates heart failure. Then in the very severe stages is the worst deficiency because even though our assays are picking up high levels of BNP, those are abnormal molecular forms that the heart is producing and we found in molecular and cellular studies that those type of circulating BNPs can't activate the receptor. So they're like junk BNP right. um, that really produce, uh, give us this state of deficiency which we think uh, provides us with the rationale and opportunity to then have BNP replacement therapy. Uh, and it's important, not just as an intravenous agent, but again like diabetes, where we would administer it subcutaneously or by a pump uh, chronically or by oral technologies to delay progression and improve outcomes.